it's that time and you know what time it is it is time for another reaction check it out guys my name is sean laurie and this is my reaction channel we're gonna do something a little fun today and what i mean by fun is we get to hear crazy crazy liberals crying about white privilege now i'm gonna do my best to try to understand where these people are coming from okay i haven't seen the video yet apparently this is an old video uh, i think she said it was like a year like 2022 she says she's gonna try to get me a newer version a newer video um but it's from Turning Point USA. And if you guys haven't followed Turning Point USA, they have incredible footage of liberals just, I mean, it's just crazy. This so, anyways, if you do enjoy the reaction and you want more, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Put it in the comments. Send me some videos and I'll, I'll react to them. Let's see what we got going on here. You know, we've all seen it before. We all have seen the way these people act. We've all seen um, a lot of this stuff. And it's probably gotten worse throughout the It's gotten worse throughout the years. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm curious to see. Her college in Pennsylvania has recently postponed an event that right. centered around being tired of... Okay, so this was uh, 2022. Which is okay, because we already know this is the kind of stuff that's still going on on campuses. Um, let's get into it, guys. This white men. So I'm at UT campus to ask students what they think about the event. Let's go find out. Well, I'm a cis white man myself, so uh, <laughs> I could be kind of offended. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'll be okay. I mean, people get harassed like that all the time, so... Honestly, slay. I agree. I, I, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't know too much about what is like the event like. So it was an event where people were going to go like paint and um, draw about how they're tired of cis white men, and then the the uh, students were going to be able to display their art, kind of just like you know showing how they feel about it. What do you think? I feel like that's a pretty healthy way. I mean, like I think it's, I think it's kind of funny, you know, like hating on white cis men because. Like, just taking out anger in a more healthy way. Like, if they're just doing art and, like... I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> you hear that? She said she thinks it's kind of funny that we're hating on cis white men. For you guys that don't know what cis white men means, I really don't know either. Um, I believe it's just... It just means they're not a transgender. I don't know. Painting and expressing their emotions through, like... A creative way, hell yeah! Like I support. I think the problem. Oh is the Lord, look, 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 look! We're gonna get into it, guys. I just wanted to also put in context for you guys, really, to understand what the question was. <clears throat> they want. She wants to know what do they feel about this event that they were holding. That is an event basically hating white men, and the way they hate them is that they have to draw art, paint. They, they express their anger, their, their hatred for white men through art. Which I absolutely find offensive and I absolutely find ridiculous that there's something such as an event where we can openly hate any race, anybody, you know. Graphic. Um, I think if they just change the name and just do like sneakily, I guess it would be better. Negativity is not the answer. You should We're never diss on another people. person. Yeah. Um, so there, there we should another not be way tearing people they down. We need to be yeah. uplifting everyone. Yeah, I guess oh! Should just be, how do we feel about we the got some people with common sense. In Pennsylvania. Uh, is it a good thing? No, is that is not a good thing. thing. No. no. Honestly, I think it is helpful. Because... Oh! There's just a lot of problems within, like... Okay. I guess... Certain type of cis men. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like... I'm not saying like all of them are like, but like there is that certain behavior that some cis men will like carry. I feel like they just get away with too much. Man, I mean like if I saw that I would just be like, I mean I haven't done anything to you guys, you know what I mean? I get the whole like, you know, 
like, again, like if they were affected by it before, then I guess it makes sense, and I'll take that into context. But then again, like, if I was personally attacked, I mean, I wouldn't. I would feel pretty bad about that, to be honest. I don't know. It seems a little bit uh, problematic, I'd say. It's important to recognize the systemic benefits that cis white men reap in our uh, American society. Wow. I just, you know, why is it always <clears throat> the white liberal? What is up with y'all white liberals, man? You guys would be the first one to speak out about your race. You'd be the first one to point your fingers at some white man or white woman. Always. Knowing you're in that category, Bubba. Knowing that one day, this is going to bite you in your ass. Saying like we're tired of straight white men in society is really as like explicit as it sounds. I think it's just contributing to a general idea that like we're tired of straight white men having the power and everything you know and it's like we as women of color as like students at this university like we are very much capable of certain things and we don't have the same privileges that are offered to straight white men <laughs> you don't oh my god i'm trying i'm really really trying to give these guys a chance so far, I hear nothing but just nonsense. Basically saying that it's okay to have an event to hate white men. This lady's saying, we're actually tired of white men being in power. So basically what you're saying is, you're, you're tired of white men going to school, going to college, being successful. You're tired of white men being successful and, and becoming your boss or becoming your instructor or your teacher, your professor, your principal. Like, you don't want white people at your school, basically, that are in charge, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> You're tired of it. And I've been hearing that from a lot of the ladies that I've been talking to today. Talk to me about what some of those privileges are. Yes, let's get into it. Here we go. Have. Talk to me about that. Um, I think in a have you ever experienced like a specific instance? I don't know, but I also need to go. I know, I, sorry, I, I do need sorry. to go. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You ain't getting out that easy. You had a whole lot to say just now. I, I do need to go. I do need to go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I do need to go. I, I do need to go. I also need to go. I know. I, I do need to go. Oh, my. You know what? <clears throat> this is the problem. Every time that you guys make accusations, every time you point your finger and you say something like this, and then when you're confronted with it, this is what we get. We gotta go. Really? I want to know. I want to know how much privilege white people have over you. We just want one example. One example. And you, oh no, we got to go. It's clown, bruh. Uh, I need to go. I'm sorry. I need to go. Yes, especially people of color. All right. Who know the privileges or the advantages what are they talk to me about some of those privileges that white people have that you guys don't have um i would just be like okay uh i guess i'll start with i am a black queer person okay uh if i were to just walk amongst the streets i'm also like women like i don't all right look very feminine if i were to walk across the streets in the dark as a black queer female presenting person i would not feel safe uh because i feel like i would be pretty targeted but if i were a white cis man i don't think i'd be like the type of person someone would come up to and hate crime because that's just <laughs> oh my god bro my head is exploding why are you send me this stuff i mean listen i have no problem with it i actually find this stuff hilarious and very educational but Oh my god. Let's just back up a tad. Y'all know who this guy is? Look look, look what they did. Pretty targeted, but if I were a white cis man, I don't think I'd be like the type of person someone would 
If you don't know this man right here, I highly suggest you go on Google and look him up. This man right here is named Jesse Smollett. And he's an actor on a TV series called Empire, which I really enjoy, by the way. I really think it's a good, I, I really thought it was a good show. I'm going to be straight up with y'all. Terrence Howard's one of my favorite actors. Terrence Howard is very talented and, by the way, very, very smart. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, great show. Terrence Howard's the man. But this guy, this guy was so determined, right? He was so determined to show that white people were racist. This man made 16-something false allegations against saying that he got jumped by a bunch of white people who tied a noose around his neck and poured bleach on him and basically said that there was a hate crime because he was being beaten because he was black and he they were trying to kill him. This is what that man did. <clears throat> Come find out it was all lies. None of that ever happened. Nothing. None of it. So America is so racist that they have to pretend that they're getting beaten by a white man. That I'm just saying, y'all, wake the hell up. And now back to those young ladies. <clears throat> because she's a black lesbian, she doesn't feel safe walking across the street, okay? What does that got to do with privilege? And her answer is, because if I was a cis white man... They can walk across the street and they have no fear. How do you know what a white man has when he walks? You're just assuming. And what's the problem with you walking across the street and you don't feel safe? What's that got to do with a white man? Has there? Let me tell you something. There's no crime rate. There is no crime rates larger than black on black crime. It just it is what it is. And I'm going to also be real. Most crimes that happen are black on black and white on white. You don't see very much black on white and white on black anymore. It, it really, you don't really see that. Mostly races rob and beat and kill their own race. I don't, I don't, I, probably because they're around each other more. I don't know. But for the fact that you feel unsafe, what are you trying to say? That white people are going to jump you or something? I, I don't know. I think it's all stupid. Because None of it makes sense. What happens? Uh, I just think it's. I think it's definitely better now. Like obviously, I feel safe where I am now. But like, I feel like being as a white cis. But then she goes to say she feels safe where she's at. <laughs> obviously, I feel safe that I'm here. Things are better. Like man, you would be safer everywhere. Like you will never like, never face. White man will never face fear. The white man will never face fear. He can walk down the streets in any neighborhood. He can go anywhere he wants. And he will never have fear and he'll never get touched. Because a white dude can just walk through your neighborhood just fine, right? Right? A white boy can just walk right downtown Chicago, right in a, in a gang-infested black neighborhood, and a white boy's all right. Because a white boy ain't going to get jumped. A white boy ain't going to get beaten. A white boy ain't going to get killed. This woman's talking out of her ass and she has no clue what she's even talking about. Any sort of like, <clears throat> just the feeling of fear wherever you are, like in some certain places as you would as a really? person of color. Or really? Person. You brought up the, the example of a man. What about like a white straight woman then? Do you think that she might feel the same same way or do you think that she has a privilege to not be targeted because she's white? Oh, I'm sure she's... I think, um, I think she's almost, I, she's, she's almost as well as almost as well as, as a, a target woman, as a black person. But it's just yeah, a black woman or another woman of color would have. Um, first of all, sometimes, you know, in some cases, sometimes the white woman would be considered more seriously by the police than the black woman, or because the woman's black, the police might have some suspicion. <clears throat> And it's not all in all cases, but in some cases that has happened before. I'm certain. Do you guys notice everything they're saying is uh, I feel, I feel, I think, I think, I assume, I assume. What happens when you guys assume? What 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 does it mean when you assume something? Hmm? Think about it. 
These, these kids have no experience in life. They've never been through nothing. All their information comes from TikTok. This is sad. Certainly cognizant of my own privilege because of my... Well, what is it, Bubba? Color my skin. What is your privilege? What privileges are those? There you go. Lots of things. I mean, Lots of like, things. Okay. What? There are certain assumptions that come with so certain people. Like they, when they look at a black person or an Indian person. That's not what she asked you. She said, what is your privilege of being white? Not certain assumptions about how people look at other races. She said, "What is your privilege?" And you and you and you dodge in the answer. They, they automatically have this profile in their head, you know, racial profiling, and that still exists. I mean, okay, we're not going to. But that's that not privilege. Human depravity itself goes away. Talk to me about some of the privileges that. Oh, white men here we go. These girls again. Guys are not awarded. Um, definitely like. I guess just getting away with situations, like if <laughs> I were to like, I don't know, like I guess. There you go. <laughs> oh my God! You know what? I'm not mad. I promise y'all, I'm not mad. I am literally relieved because these are college students that are obviously have problems with the white race, with white men, and they can't come up with one single thing that makes sense. Now, one thing. It's, uh, uh, I have no idea. I got to go. I don't know. I assume. I feel. I think. I don't know. I think it's hilarious, to be honest with you. But this in here looks like she's got a lot to say. Let's see. I'm sure she's going to have something that, that, that will make sense, right? Um. Come on. It's situations like if I had a problem with like okay again a male teacher hypothetical they were a white cis male there was less of a chance for something to happen to them because of it like I could literally report them for anything but because of that if they were like upstanding in the community sucks to me be basically you think that it would be the same reaction if it was like a black male teacher no 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 way dude no way if a black if a black teacher did something to me and I went and reported them, they would be fired. But if I reported a white person, no actions would be taken, is what she just said. Again, mind you guys, this is all hypothetical, right? All hypothetical. I feel, I think, uh, I believe they, she's just, she's assuming, she's assuming for the camera. She's, she's just making this stuff up problem will be solved immediately oh yeah yeah i mean <laughs> yeah I, like, I disagree yeah uh, uh, but, 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 but you have nothing to say psc people are like more targeted or minorities are more targeted especially with like crimes in general or if a person of color was to do something wrong um people would deal with it more quickly than if it was a cis white male. So you mentioned oh! white white men having... Here's this guy again. I'm curious to see what this goofball has to say. He, he's full of himself. More privileges. Can you talk to me about what some of those privileges are? Um, yeah, yeah, so come on. generally, um, you know, there's not really ever a sense of, like, discrepancy whenever um, someone is trying to Let's say, for instance, there is um, there is a, a man who commits a crime, and he's you know a regular-looking white guy. Police are you know general commits a crime. And he's, <laughs> I love her. Uh, a regular-looking white guy. Police are you know generally more likely to not have adverse reactions to them say if they're like having any sudden movements or sharp movements they'll generally be more lenient with them compared to if it was like a black or brown person um, generally doesn't really matter about well i guess the gender does matter sometimes but more so i guess the skin tone when it's 
referring to like police and stuff like that. Where do you get that analysis from? Yeah, where? Um, like statistics, crime statistics, uh, rates of arrest compared to uh, uh, comparing, uh, you know, white people to like black and brown people or minorities in general. Um, what would you say to people who say like the black community commits the majority of the crime, that's why they're more likely to be arrested? What would you say to that point? Uh, I would say that there are uh, certain factors of society that have contributed to black and brown people being more impoverished and crime is uh, sort of the way that um, a lot of people see an escape from this poverty, you know, stealing is a crime, but say you're a hungry man and you go into a grocery store and you steal some food for you or your family, is that really a crime or are you just trying to survive at that point, you know? Specifically minority. <laughs> it's a crime, homie. It's a crime. I, 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 I respect where you're trying to go. I respect where you're trying to go because I will say this. I have kids that are growing up around violence and growing up with a bunch of gangs and and stuff like that they don't know no better they do what they're taught right so and then they go to the store and they steal and they have to they have to learn consequences by going to jail i'm just saying you know it, it it's it falls on the parents right it falls on the parents and in today's world and today's society i don't find any excuse why a man cannot provide for his children if you have a child that is hungry, there are so many programs, there are so many ways that you can get food. If you look at the middle class refrigerator versus a poor person's refrigerator, it, it'll blow your mind because there's EBT, there's welfare, there's so many benefits for poor people. There's no reason why anybody poor should be going hungry if they are it's because they're lazy and they're not doing what they need to do i'm just saying i get what he i kind of grasp what he's trying to say but again he's reaching stars man um they say that straight white men have more privileges than they do what are your what's your what are your thoughts i mean i would say so i mean i know that Growing up, I had a few more pri privileges than my peers, for sure. Bruh, it wasn't because of your skin, dude. I mean, just, you know. It's not your skin color. Privilege comes from wealth. That's what everybody seems to be forgetting. We saw this shit in the 1930s and the 40s and the 50s. We saw this with, with, with families that were rich and families that were poor. You had the white kids, and the, you know, the Jews and the Irish kids. And, you know, you had all the white kids walking down the streets, kicking cans and trying to find pennies on the ground because their family was poor. But then you had the rich kids that had everything. Their nice clothes, nice shoes, nice cars. They all went to the nicest schools. Not because they were white. They did it because they, they had it because they were wealthy. A wealthy black man is going to have more privilege than a poor white man. All right. A wealthy white man is going to have more privilege than a poor black man. Vice versa. And a poor rich man, or excuse me, a rich white man is going to have more than a poor white man. Wealth is the privilege, not your color of your skin like i mean I, I i always say growing up like i didn't get everything i want but i had everything that i needed and i feel like some kids don't get everything that they needed just based on wherever they grew up whether that's but do you think that affects just minority kids no explain on that like do you think that there are no white children that are also potentially affected by that oh, i definitely do i definitely do like a lot of a lot of my friends that are white grew up like that, you know, people that are grown. I didn't grow around like a, I didn't grow up in like a rich neighborhood or anything like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do you yeah. is white privilege a real thing? I'm just trying to figure it out because as a you know a brown female, I've never. Yeah. I don't think that you have more privileges than me, but apparently, a lot of other women think that white people do. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what those privileges are. I mean, honestly, like. I think it's a way deeper concept than that than either they do or I don't think it's that black and white. Mm -hmm. But I know that like 
I know a lot of Hispanic or black people that have had better privileges than I have, and that doesn't mean that they have like a black privilege. No, they have more money than you. Hispanic privilege or anything like that. So again, it, 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 it depends on the context. I would say the majority of the time, maybe white people are a little bit more better off than their minority counterparts. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's that black and white. And I don't think that you can just say that white people have privilege. That's it. Wayne. Yeah, I, I just don't think that you can generalize that just to white privilege when it's kind of more dispersed than that. As a white man, I mean, have you, do you think that it's easier to be racist towards oh. the white community in 2022? Like, do you think that, you know, we get away with being racist towards white people a little bit easier? Absolutely. We absolutely do. I think, yeah, there's a, I don't want to say there's a certain stigma. I don't feel that way that there's a stigma behind being white. I think that's kind of a shitty thing if anybody were to say like, oh, I don't, I feel like I'm not comfortable in my whiteness. Like, my brother, you can't fix that. It's not something you can you can change. So, well, y'all, it was nice to see the racism levels at UT Austin have gone down a little bit. So, uh. so great video today by SC. All right, so that's a great video. Uh, I'm actually gonna do more reaction videos with Turning Point USA. Um, I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating to see these kids' reactions. Um, I feel like most of them want. I think I feel like most of them know the answer. They're just they've been brainwashed to to believe in this nonsense. Okay, um, I do get a little angry with it because it just it's so ignorant and it's so stupid to me that that these kids really think that all these white people are running around here with some type of privilege today. You know what I mean? This isn't the 1960s and 70s. Okay, this is 2022, 23, 24 now. Okay. Um, it, it just isn't like that. And so anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of these videos, send them to me. Let me know in the comments. I love to hear your guys' opinion. This is a real issue in America right now. Um, this is from 2022, but I'm telling you guys, this issue is still going on on, on on college campuses and has actually gotten a lot worse in other, in other ways. Um, we'll do some more videos on it. Um, again, make sure you guys are subscribing. And uh, that's about it for tonight. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.